question, is masking needed during inference? What's the point of masking during inference? Can't we just turn it off and save on computation? Why, why do we use masking during inference? Why do we keep it on? Oh, man. I don't know. <laughs> this one is like, I was breaking my head about it. I was like searching, couldn't find an answer to it. I was asking ChatGPT because like, give me an answer. Like, why do you use masking? So it's like, I'm like, you don't need masking during training. Like you, because you're throwing away, you know, you're throwing away. Like you say you have uh, six, uh, six word input. It gets to the end. We're talking about GPT only models. Uh, sorry, transform, uh, decoder only models. It gets to the end, right? You have those six, uh, 200,000 probability distributions and you throw away the first five. You only use the last one to predict next word. And the last word has access to all the words by default, right? It, masking doesn't affect the last word anyway. So what's the point of masking during inference if you're throwing away the first five probability distributions of the other words? And um, so I was like breaking my head about it. I was like thinking, why do we need masking? There's no point in this. And ChatGPT was so stubborn. I was like, no, you do need masking. It's trying to explain to me, but it wasn't doing a good enough job, but I couldn't understand. And then somewhere on some forum and some hidden uh, like discussion, it finally, like I was reading something, finally hit me. Like the reason that you need masking during inference is because of layers. That's the only reason you need masking. So GPT, like the original transform model has six layers, like GP, uh, the chat GPT, I think version three had 96. Remember we're talking about 96 layers in the previous podcast. So because you have this decoder only architecture, but then you don't use the output that it generates. You put another decoder on and then another 96 times like that, right? So by the time the words get to the end of the decoder only level, right? If, if uh, so you have these context rich vector representation, you don't have that um, linear transformation and output. You don't create the, um, so you basically have layer one, two, three, four. You have that feed for old neural network. Then you don't do the linear transformation and softmax. You just put straight up on top of it. You put the next decoder on the architecture where you don't uh, have level one because you already have vector representations. Um, I'm not sure, I don't really remember. I think you do still need the uh, positional encoding um, the, where they when they go in there. That's like a small detail. But anyway, so you have these uh, six vector, context-rich vectors for the six words, let's say that you have. They go are they at the end of level layer one, then they go into layer two, and as they go through layer two, they are used in the creation of the context for the sixth word, right? So if you turn off masking, all of a sudden, these six words, these six vector representations you had at the end of the first layer are going to be different in training and in inference, right? You, you'll still get a result, but in training and inference, the different, there'll be a difference. And, that, and the fact that they're used for the context of the sixth word in layer two is going to affect the sixth word in layer two and so in layer three and so in layer four and then it'll get to layer 96 so masking is can be switched off only in the last layer but in the previous layers it's important to keep it so that your training architecture is identical to your um inference architecture so it's like a very deep technical question but i think like if i was hiring somebody for an llm position i would ask that question i would say do you need masking during uh inference and they'll say, um, no, you don't. And then I'll ask them why. And then we'll talk about layers and I'll see how well they understand this. Yeah, so the end, the end to that, so you just said that the, the interview, your artificial interviewee, they say no, but the answer is the yes. The answer is yes. You do. There is masking, but it's because, it's, it's because you need it in everything except the top layer. Yes. So in, in those 96 layers, the 96th layer doesn't need it, but the first 95 do. Yes, that's right. That's right. Because those... Vectors, even though they're not used, the first five vectors, they're not used uh, for producing the output in the final layer, but they are used in the previous layers for the context in, uh, self in, in all the self-attentions.